guys, and welcome back to Jairzadi Tech. Okay, it's June 10th. They just released the new 3G iPhone. It's in stores tomorrow. It's amazing. It, it's better than the first one. The announcement was huge. It just blew my mind. No. That's not what happened. It was okay. It doesn't go on sale until July 11th. And it really did not live up to the hype. Now, there are a few cool new features in it. First, obviously, 3G. That's a big one. Apple demonstrated the um, how, how much faster it goes. It's just, it's ridiculous. The 3G version downloads in five seconds. And the Edge version in 18 seconds. That is 3.6 times faster on the 3G version. Next is the App Store. You know, the whole 2.0 software that I talked about in my last video. That's going to be big. That's going to come out around the same time as the iPhone, July 11th. It's going to be available in over 70 countries, which is great. Probably the best thing, in my opinion, is the price drop. It's freaking incredible, okay? I mean, when the iPhone first came out, the 8GB was $599. Now the 8GB is $199, and the 16GB is just $299. It's, it's crazy! However, there is no 32GB. Now, I'm not sure if this is going to be like how Apple announced the 16GB. They're going to wait a little while and then announce it. I don't know if I should wait and wait till that comes out or buy one now. But, I gotta say, that's kind of disappointing. Also, I mentioned in my last video that... I did not want the black shiny finish because it's going to get fingerprints on it and it also can scratch really easily. Unfortunately, they did put this on. They might have a white one as well, which would probably not show as many fingerprints, but you know, it's kind of girly. However, I'm sure that the plastic instead of the aluminum contributed a lot to the price drop. Things that we didn't get that I was really hoping we would is first, 32 gigabytes. Second, um, thinner. It's actually, it's, it's thinner around the edges, but it's actually 0 0.02 millimeters thicker in this, in the middle of it. Another thing I was really hoping for that might still be a possibility is to be able to flip the iPhone keyboard in texting from portrait mode to landscape mode. Now, this might not have been, been a big enough update for Apple to announce that the, um, at the keynote. I'm sure there are going to be a few small, like, just changes in the OS that are just going to be there for people to find out, and I'm hoping this is one of them, because it's not a big thing, but it's it would be so much easier to type with. I I'm really don't know why they didn't include it in the text thing when they included it in the web browser. Some other things we didn't get, better camera or video recording, no front camera for video calling. No support for MMS messaging. Apple is really marketing this iPhone on just the 3G. Here's a new commercial that was just released at the WWDC. It's finally here. The first phone to beat the iPhone. It surfs the web and downloads data twice as fast for half the price. Introducing the new iPhone 3G. So as you can see, it's the only phone to beat the iPhone. It, it downloads data twice as fast, surfs the web, and that's all great. However, those few little things that people really wanted might stop some people from getting it. However, it is Apple, you never know. So, who knows? There could be a new iPhone in another year, and then that could have 300 new features. But, until then, this is a preview of the new 3G iPhone. It's coming out on July 11th. $199 for 8 gigabytes, $299 for 16 gigabytes. 16 comes in black and white. So, check it out. Thank you for tuning in to Jair's Audi Tech. Thank <laughs> you.